was at chapter 53, Fate Loves the Fearless, here at a sold out electric ballroom where Keith Lee defeated Travis Banks. Of course, Keith Lee was handpicked by the then Progress Wrestling World Champion Pete Dunne. And Travis Banks seems to be determined. I had an interview with him recently, a mini documentary. We went to go get the Progress Wrestling World Championship repaired by Peter Ellis and Leather Rebels. And Travis spoke about. Wanting to well, kind of put the ghost to rest of those those matches that he lost on the way to Alexander Palace, RJ. Well, what a story for Travis Banks. Do you think all those many months ago we barely knew who Travis Banks was in progress wrestling and now he stands before us as our new crown world champion? And as you said, he had many great victories on the road to that championship. But one man he did not beat, and that was that man, the limitless Keith Lee. He has been uh, capturing championships as of late, and if he was to return to, to Texas, the Progress Wrestling World Champion, just think of the matches that he could have across in the, in the States as well as here in the UK. But Travis Banks is desperate to keep a hold of that title that he worked so hard. Oh, wow. Gracefully, uh, Travis Banks is allowed to go off by the limitless Keith Lee. And Keith Lee, I mean, he, he is just a hulk of a man in every sense of the word. Have you ever seen that spirit bomb or that doom salt and all of the power moves in Keith Lee's arsenal? do some pretty crazy things. Well, that's it. I mean, he is limitless. The man has no limitations whatsoever. Oh! Well, it shut him up momentarily, but... Oh, oh God, RJ. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Keithley just pie-facing Travis Banks into the... Oh, oh man. man. Wise move, thanks. Well, wise started. move. I think the phrase there, Keith Lee as a Texan would appreciate. Travis Banks just got the hell out of Dodge. I say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, if you can recall the absolute state of Travis Banks' chest from the double handed chops of Keith Lee last time these two met. Banks into the ring now, with a bit of pace, trying to chop down that. Big tree that is Keith Lee trying to knot up the, the thigh, the left leg there. And again goes back to it, gets Keith Lee down on one knee. Here comes the Kiwi Bustle. Oh! oh! Knee to the face and sends Lee to the outside. Well, for the longest time, the Ultras used to chant, Travis is our champion. But, um, oh, Keith Lee just daring him to dive. Remember, he he's quite, quite good at embracing people with those catchers mitts. A big kick into the face of Keith Lee. Here comes Kiwi Buster. Oh, he actually got some quarter on that. One down to the outside. Goes again. And another dive. Keith Lee. Just stay on his feet. Here comes the Progress Wrestling Champion. Oh, and he takes the big guy down. And listen to the ballroom sound their appreciation. Travis Banks. I see that he, uh, he's got a, a playbook here against Keith Lee this time. Of course, RJ, you'll be better at describing this to me. Once you've wrestled somebody more than once, you, you tend to learn the little facets of their the way they move and, and what their, their techniques are in the ring. Absolutely, and can you imagine that Travis Banks has probably reviewed that tape over and over and over again, looking at where did he go wrong with Keith Lee, where did things not work for him, and he's obviously gone away, he's worked on his game, and now we're seeing a very different Travis Banks against Keith Lee in this match. Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, I'm gonna be sick! Oh. And you can see the legs have just gone out from under Travis Banks. Oh, I'll tell you, you know that feeling when you get kicked in the balls. Oh. Oh.
clubbing forearm. Travis Banks is in curve. Oh, Keith Lee would. Oh, gosh. At weighing Travis Banks by well over 100 pounds. into the stomach of Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Oh my God, the power. One hand. Big slam on Banks. He wants the big man. Oh! A snap elbow. Lateral press. But Banks kicks out. Only the count one there, I think. He's trying to send a message to Keith Lee by kicking out a one after that. Yeah. Oh, Keith Lee just wrenching on several limbs there. Kind of like a vice like grip around the head. Knee into the side of the face. Can you imagine the great big hands of Keith Lee just wrenching at the head and neck for Travis Banks? Big shots into the stomach now by Banks. Oh, God! admirers all over the world certainly does here at progress and the, oh, Travis. chop so powerful it just takes the legs from out underneath you oh Travis oh. He got some force behind that one. And now, that last chop seems to have fired the champion up, RJ. And he's been waiting months to get these off. Finally get them off his chest and onto the chest of Keith Lee. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Keith Lee's. What's that feels, Keith? Some frustrations on the chest of Keith Lee here. Uh -oh. oh! Headbutt into the jaw of the champion. Oh! Oh, God! I think bits of skin came off. Oh. Oh. I actually think Travis Banks' chest is bleeding from that. Oh, God. Strikes has taken complete control of Banks and now... Oh my god! What strength by Keith Lee just peeling the champion across the ring! <laughs> Gotta be honest, aren't you? At this point, Keith Lee doesn't, doesn't look in any trouble at all against Travis Banks. Well, he has slowed this right down to a pace that suits him. And he is just in total control of the champion. it again. Ah! And you could sit, there was an audible gasp from the crowd. Travis Banks is just getting, 
manhandled by Keith Lee. And this, of course, the first title defense that, that Travis Banks has made, RJ. We call them, call them second night blues in the theater. You tend to have a, a brilliant opening night, and maybe that was Alexandria Palace for Travis Banks. And, oh! oh, and he landed badly on that one. There's no finesse with what Keith Lee's doing here. He's just throwing the champion around like a rag doll. Oh, and smashes him into the corner. Please, not again. Oh, leaping knee by Banks! And just took duck a punch and fires back with punches of his own into the stomach of Keith Lee. Oh, and a kick into the chest. Here comes the Kiri Wilson! Sends it back. Misses! Drop to hold into the second turnbuckle. Oh, that may have just been a lifeline for Travis Banks. Here goes Banks. Head of steam. Oh, cannonball! Into the back of Keith Lee! Up to the second row, but Keith Lee pounces on him as he comes out of the corner. That real press ran into an almost roadblock there. He oh, said, "Aren't oh, like a brick wall?" It just happens to have the name Keith Lee. <laughs> Lee favoring the small of his back, but Travis Banks is favoring pretty much his. His body. He comes the other rose. Oh! oh! Turns him inside out with a clothesline. Coming new champion, Lionel Press, and holds down the arm. Banks still manages to kick out. and shoulders red raw power bombs from on high the challenger Keith Lee has to stay on Banks now has to make it count you see the welts and the marks on the body of Travis oh. Keith Lee oh god did you just say crush it's Keith Lee oh Oh, Banks kicks out the, the right leg! Oh! Both knees into the back of Keith Lee! Banks now. Heading up to the top rope. And you see! Oh, he gets it! Is that going to be enough? One, two! Keith Lee kicks out with authority. That was a massive, massive left there. Back elbow catches Keith Lee coming in. And a boot up into the jaw. Sends the champion out of the corner. Shotgun. 
Drop kick with Keith Lee. Unfazed by it. The second one though puts him down. Double stop battle. The corner from the second row by the champion. Oh, and look at Travis Banks just firing up. Now dragging Keith Lee up. Oh, not another one. Oh! Turns him inside down. Inside out and upside down, I should say. All of the words. One, two. And again, Travis Banks kicks out of that huge power bomb. Oh, God, he seemed to hang in the air before he power bombed him down, RJ. I have no idea where Travis Banks is finding the strength to carry on after that. But by God, he's doing it. But Keith Lee, I've got to say, he's starting to look tired, Glenn. We said earlier that he seemed to be taking in his stride. The conditioning will play a factor. Obviously, it's, it's not as warm as the last time that Keith Lee was here at the ballroom. On a chilly October Sunday here in London. But even so, the lights have been on for a few hours and this match has been going on for quite a long time. And the longer it goes on, you've got to think the match goes to the champion. I mean, the champion is definitely in an advantage here. He's, well, he's, he's mounted Keith Lee for one of a better turn. He's firing elbows off into his back of his neck and the side of his head. But Keith Lee power spikes up. Oh, God. Oh, the Banks manages to land out of it. Oh, takes advantage. Can we go for the Kiwi Crush? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, wait. He skates again. Oh. Great transition in midair there by the Progress Wrestling defending champion Travis Banks. It's the turnbuckle. It's a Yakuza kick and a second one. Keith Lee manages to duck the third. Sends him off. Oh, what a discus elbow from the challenger. Oh, and Banks is prone now. What's Lee thinking? Remember, this is for the Progress Wrestling World Championship. The stakes were not as high as this the last time these two men met. He's sending Travis Banks up again. But Banks manages to slip out of the back. Because he's a top rope. Oh, he hits it. Oh, God. Keith Lee walks into a second one. What's Travis Banks going to do to keep Keith Lee down? Super kick, two, a third into the jaw. Here comes the Kiwi Buzzsaw. Oh, uh -oh. He catches him. Banks manages to roll through. Takes a single leg, rolls him up, two, and... Oh, Banks is having to wrestle his way around Keith Lee at the moment, RJ. And look, you just see the anguish on Banks' face. He's just searching for a way to keep Keith Lee down. He again. That's Banks up and now Banks. Using his elbows into the shoulder and the neck of Keith Lee. Oh, where are the big man? Oh, now goes for the other side as well. Oh, God. Terrific strikes. Now, kicks it to the face. Lee's fading, RJ. Oh, it seems to be working. Banks was relentless. No way. Surely not. Oh, he gets it. Give me the One, two. Oh, he does it. Incredible show of strength, getting Keith Lee up for the Kiwi Crusher. Not gonna lie, Glenn, I had my doubts whether Travis Banks was gonna be able to pull this off. 
He had a mammoth task ahead of him, trying to overcome Keith Lee, but by God, he fought tooth and nail, and he is walking out, still the Progress World Champion. Well, Travis Banks fought for such a long time, winning Super Strong Star 16 this year, defeating Pete Dunne and Alexandra Palace, and now has managed to defend in his first title defense against a monster of a man in Keith Lee. I wonder if Travis Banks wants to put the rest of those ghosts to rest, RJ. Well, you know, what a path that Travis Banks has carved for himself here in progress, and it has led him to the Progress Championship. Got to ask Glenn who's going to be next for Travis Banks. of respect there to the Progress Wrestling World Champion Travis Banks. I'm sure we'll see Keith Lee again. Incredibly popular with the Progress fans all over the UK. An incredible athlete. Keith Lee truly is limitless. But tonight, he is not the Progress Wrestling World Champion. That accolade belongs to Travis Banks. We know that Mark Andrews has a number one contendership in the, in the back, so to speak. We'll see when Mark Andrews is going to take that opportunity. But for tonight, for myself, Glenn Joseph, and for my broadcast partner here, RJ Singh, still Progress Wrestling World Champion, the Kiwi Buzzsaw, Travis Banks. Thank you so much for joining us for Chapter 56. You can catch the rest of the chapters.